Welcome to our inaugural Artificial Intelligence Summit. What's possible today is really a convergence of algorithms, compute capability, and more and more daring applications that I think are, are what are beginning to kind of capture all of our imaginations. We've all come from tributaries on the river of biology or various rivers of science. The river of machine intelligence is now flowing into that. And, and I think with certainty, there are going to be rapids ahead that are gonna destroy many of the vessels that we've built based on the design criteria that we've come from. Like the past is not gonna be a wonderful predictor of the future. We tend as technologists to focus on what happens in the bioscience lab and in the health clinic, but it's all this other stuff also. Like just cutting down by one day, saying yes or no to a grant application or to green lighting an IRB can make all the difference in the world. It can make all the difference in the world to us, but also to all the people that we serve. If you give me data and you define an outcome well, I bet you a machine learning person can train a good model. We're beyond that. Now we need to figure out whether these models work well for many people. And what we're running into time and time again as we train these models is they do not. These generative models and deep learning more broadly are really at a state where the people who have deep enough knowledge about the domain and the models are completely transforming their fields. But the people who only know one or only know the other are a little bit on the sidelines right now. And so how do we really you know, train these sort of bilinguals who know enough about machine learning and enough about a domain to really be at, at the forefront of that evolution. You gotta overweight the future. Look at the percent of your organization that is leaning into that next generation approach. Because otherwise, if the vast majority of it is in the last way of doing it, it just pulls you back. We're kind of at a moment where, and this has happened many times before, we're going to have to immigrate en masse. Everybody's going to have to immigrate. We're going to have to leave the comforts. It's almost like, you know, everybody's worried climate change is going to cause us to have to leave the planet. Well, we're going to have to do the equivalent when it comes to the status quo. While I'm not going to be able to say that uh, AI is going to be generating more creative content than the most creative human beings. I think that AI is going to be able to be not just a co-pilot that's going to help us be more creative, but is likely going to be the chief imagineer, chief dreamer, however you want to name it. And is also going to be able to come up with things that is going to surprise us in very mysterious ways.